या देवी सर्वभूतेशु शक्ति रूपेण संस्थिता नमस्तस्ये 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 नमो नमः अरन सैल्यूटेशन टू गॉड ऑफ शक्ति द एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ कॉस्मिक एनर्जी श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः विद इमेंस ग्रैटिट्यूड एंड ट्रिब्यूट टू अवर बिलावर्ड डॉक्टर मिसेस वाईजी पी मैम अ विजनरी हुस एजुकेशनल लेगेसी लिव्स ऑन इंस्पायरिंग जनरेशंस we commence day 1 season 4 of navaratri leelotsavam titled shri kari the source of auspiciousness day 1 try try is the hindu goddess revered in shaktam tradition try embodies the essence of the three vedas the rig the yajur and the sama veda she is the unified form of trishakti alai mother goddess mahalakshmi kalai mother goddess saraswati and malai mother goddess durga and is enamed with trishulam the trident hailed as tripureshi she is the one who pervades in all the three worlds her leelas encapsulate three aspects creation sustenance and destruction she is the embodiment of three qualities the bestower of sattva goodness and harmony the dispeller of tamas ignorance and laziness and the remover of rajas avarice and greed she is three konada present in the three vertices of a triangle who also transcends cosmic time the past the present and the future thus trini is trista present in the mystical and spiritual number 3 पूजी
Sugunatmika. She who is the essence of the three gunas. Rajas, arrogance and desire. Tamas, ignorance and laziness. Sattvam, purity and wisdom. The story of the woodcutter who delves deep into the forest with arrogance and greed emerges pure and unfurls this eternal truth. The entire universe is under the sway of the three gunas. Story time now! Are you all up for it? In we go into the deep forest. கேட்போமா
whose massing is related to the size of the village, town or the city it inhabits. Correspondingly, Guru displays are also tiered, wherein the smallest Guru consists of 3 tiers and the grand Guru displays might have about 11 to 13 tiers. It is also related to the size and the volume of the room and how it is situated. 3 is the first number that forms a geometrical form. Triangles are the basis for Guru Padis. When we take a closer look at the Guru Padis, we will find a right angle formation which reminds us of a Pythagoras theorem. Dolls come mostly in pairs to be arranged with utmost symmetry, reserving the central axis for the solo dolls while also being arranged hierarchically with respect to the anatomy, posture, color, height and weight of the figures. The therefore symbol is represented as three dots arranged in a triangle with one above and two below. It is a symbol used as a logical expression in mathematical equations and is often used in shorthand. When we inquire deeper into the concept of the trinity represented by the three dots in a triangle, mind, body and soul, we uncover a subtle spiritual truth. This symbol shows that human beings are not just physical entities but multidimensional beings encompassing mental, emotional and spiritual dimensions. In geometry, a triangle is the most stable shape. Similarly, in the context of our being, a triangle represents stability and balance. When our mind, body and soul are in harmony, we are at our most stable, capable of withstanding life's ups and downs while remaining anchored in our inner truth. To safeguard our planet and ensure a sustainable future, the principles of three R's stand as pivotal guides. The next segment is Eco Euphoria, in which our students spell out measures to preserve the beauty and balance of our natural world. Navaratri is complete only with Golos. Every year during Navaratri, we have been celebrating by arranging dolls and figurines on odd number of buddies to tell a story. Keeping up with the festive spirit, this year we have given our Golu Eco Euphoria an eco friendly touch making it a wonderful and sustainable way to celebrate Navaratri. What makes eco-friendly Golu special is its commitment to environmental consciousness. Instead of using non-biodegradable materials, the dolls focus on sustainability, the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. They have been crafted from eco-friendly materials like clay, wood, cloth, paper and other natural and recycled items 
Furthermore, the use of energy efficient LED lighting or natural light sources minimizes the environmental impact. This harmonious blend of tradition and eco consciousness not only preserves cultural heritage but also serves as a beautiful example of how we can celebrate our festivals while being responsible stewards of the environment. In the 21st century, a new set of skills has emerged as essential for navigating the complexities of our rapidly changing world. These 21st century skills go beyond traditional academic knowledge and include critical thinking, creativity, communication, collaboration, adaptability. The 21st century skills are not only relevant for success but also for addressing the complex challenges of our time from global health crisis to environmental concerns. The four C's can also be used for the effective planning in various aspects of life. Let's see how we can use these skills during Navratri and enhance the celebration, making it more meaningful. Here's how. Number one, critical thinking. Critical thinking helps us to analyze the significance of each ritual and its historical context to gain a deeper understanding. It also helps in the planning of the Gulu arrangement, considering the meaning behind each figurine and its placement. Number two, creativity. Creativity is used in the display of Gulus. Creating unique and eco-friendly arrangements using sustainable materials, encouraging creative expression. We can also craft our own decorations or try our hands at traditional art forms like Kolam to add a creative and personal touch. Number three. Communication. This can be done by sh sharing stories and legends associated with Navratri with friends and families, enhancing cultural understanding. We can also use technology to connect with our loved ones even if we are physically apart. Number four, collaboration. This can be done by involving family members in the setting up of Gulu or organizing cultural events promoting teamwork. Also, collaborating with our neighbors or local cultural groups to host events or exhibitions, fostering community spirit. By integrating the four C's in our Navratri celebration, we can make the festival a more enriching and inclusive experience, deepening our cultural understanding and strengthening our bonds with others in our community. Thank you. The Dons Museum was established in the year 1965. Shankar's International Dolls Museum is a dreamland for children. It is by far the largest museum in the world, spreading across an area of 5,184 square feet. Today, it houses almost 6,500 exhibits from a total of 85 nations. The museum has been divided into two halves. One half is for the collection from Europe, the US, New Zealand and Australia and the other for the Asian countries including India. Dolls from around the world which are handmade. The dolls of Mexico represent the cultural blending of European and Native American styles. The figure depicts the Spanish influence on Mexican culture. An authentic Mexican rag doll is always handmade. Stunning handmade dolls from Brazil. 
Puppetry fosters creative learning, inculcating valuable lessons through imaginative storytelling, sparking curiosity, making complex subjects engaging. Let us now witness a creative puppet show. Hello everyone, it's story time. Let's find out what Bugs Bunny has to share on this special day. If you're ready for a story, shout hurrah! Hurrah! If you're ready for a story, shout hurrah! Hurrah! If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, shout hurrah! Hurrah! Hello, Bunny. Hello, friends. The three questions is a short story by Russian author Leo Tolstoy. The story concerns a king who wants to find the answers to what he considers the three most important questions in life. That's interesting. Three most important questions? What are they? It once occurred to a certain king that if he always knew the right time to begin everything, if he knew who are the right people to listen to and whom to avoid and above all if he always knew what was the most important thing to do he would never fail in anything he might undertake and this thought having occurred to him he had it proclaimed throughout his kingdom that he would give a great reward to anyone who would teach him what was the right time for every action who were the most necessary people and how he might know what was the most important thing to do. Many educated men attempted to answer the king's questions, but they all came up with different answers. All the answers being different, the king agreed with none of them and gave the reward to none. But still, Wishing to find the right answers to his questions, he decided to consult a hermit. The hermit would only see common folk, so the king disguised himself as a peasant and left his guards behind to see the hermit. The hermit was digging flower beds when the king arrived. The king asked his questions, but the hermit went on digging rather laboriously. The king offered to dig for him for a while. After digging for some time, the king again asked his questions. The king went up to him and said, I have come to you, wise hermit, to seek an answer to three questions. How can I learn to do the right thing at the right time? Who are the people I most need and to whom should I therefore pay more attention than to the rest? And what a fast are the most important and need my first attention. Before the hermit could answer, a man emerged from the woods. He was bleeding terribly. The man held his hands pressed against his stomach and he fell fainting on the ground, moaning feebly. The king tended to him and they stayed the night in the hermit's hut. By the next day, the wounded man was doing better but was incredulous at the help he had received. I wish to kill you and you have saved my life. Forgive me, said the man in a weak voice. The man confessed that he knew who the king was and that the king had executed his brother and seized his property. He had come to take revenge. The king was very glad to have made peace with his enemy so easily and to have gained him for a friend and he not only forgave him but said he would send his servants and his own physician to attend him and promise to restore his property. The king asked the hermit again for his answers and the hermit responded that he had just had his questions answered. The most important time is now. The most important person is whoever you are with. The most important thing is to help the person you are with. Hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh yes, that was thought provoking. Thank you, Bunny. The rule of 3 is a powerful technique or principle that is required in writing or speaking. It states that any idea, thought, event, character or sentence when presented in threes is more effective and memorable. Hence it is known as the rule of 3. How to use the rule of 3 in communication? Divide your content or speech into three parts: the beginning, the middle and end. Shape it up with a proper introduction, body content and summary. Divide your body content into the three most important ideas or three core ideas. Use three powerful words successively to express your central idea. Examples of the rule of 3: see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. It is believed that the rule of 3s is successful in getting things done. Historical speeches are full of trios. The Roman emperor Julius Caesar said, "I came, I saw, I conquered." சக்தி 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 என்று பாடுமோ சக்தி கூத்து மானிட ஜென்மம் எடுத்த நமக்குள் ஜோதி ஸ்வரூபமாக திகழும் சிவசக்தியை பராசக்தியை எண்ணி தக 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 என்று பாடி கூத்தாடிடுவோம் நம் உள்ளத்தில் உள்ள பொய்மையை வஞ்சனையை மன இருளை நீக்கி ஞானம் என்னும் தீபச்சுடரை ஏற்றி ஓம் சக்தியை சரணாகதி அடைவோம் சக்தி அமுதம் பருகி தன்னிலை மறந்து லயத்தில் இணைந்து முக்தி பெறுவோம் மகாகவி பாரதி எழுதிய இந்த அற்புத பாடலை கேட்டு ரசித்து நடனமாடி மகிழ்வோம் வணங்குவோம் சக்தி சக்தி என்று குதித்தாடு சிவசக்தி என்றும் சிவசக்தி சக்தி என்று குதித்தாடு சிவசக்தி என்றும் வாழி சிவசக்தி என்றும் வாழி Da 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 
of navaratri leelotsavam may the blessings of god as shakti guide us through the sacred festival filling our hearts with devotion and joy stay tuned with us tomorrow for day 2 celebration shri gurubhyo namaha din din tanana din